Can I just check? Channel 2 for English. Is that right? Um, if we can please take questions for Raheem first, he has some TV commitments to do after. Um, show of hands so we can see which microphone, where the microphones are going, please. Just um, make any, any Italian journalists in the room. We can take the Italian questions at the end of that first section and then the end of that section. Okay. Raheem, uh, over here. Another, and another great game to look forward to on, on Tuesday. Uh, the way you're playing at the moment, you must look forward to, to every match. Was that one of the best or the best club performance you've ever been a part of on Saturday? Um, yeah, it was a massive uh, performance from the boys. Um, there's a bit of disappointment at half-time, having conceded. So um, I think we bounced back really well in the second half, continued to show our, our great character that we've showing all season and it's a credit to the boys we've um, really built on from last season but um, it's early days so yeah we'll just continue to build off from that. You must be pleased with your own form as well how much has the man alongside you improved you as a player? Um, he's been massive for me um, especially with the basic and simple stuff he always um, tries to get you to do the simple stuff at a really top level and that's the really genius thing about him it makes sure he does the simple things and it, and it works. And to have great players alongside you in the team, such as Kevin De Bruyne at the moment, um, what's he like to play with? Some of the passes that we've seen from him have been incredible. Yeah, he's a, a really great player, Kevin. He sees the game really well, he reads the game really well, and um, he's a, a massive player to have in your team. And uh, for any team in the world, he's a, a, a great player. Hi Raheem, um, you've scored six goals in the Premier League, seven in total. I think the most you've ever scored in, in your career in a season is 11. First of all, are you confident of beating that? Second of all, do you think you can keep on scoring and maybe get, get up to the sort of figures mid-teens mid which would make you like elevate your level? Um, I just need to um, continue focusing on um, getting in the goal scoring areas. Um, that's the most important thing for me is trying to get inside the box because majority of my goals come from inside the box and um, I'm always building and trying to improve from the year before and that's no different this season and I just need to make sure I'm um, getting in the box and hoping to get into those double figures this year. To be fair though, you often previously have been getting into the goal scoring areas but this season this seems to be going in all the time. Has something changed? Is it just confidence? Has something clicked? No, just trying to um, see the game and, and trying to get on the end of stuff and and with the players we've got in the team, you just not always know there's going to be a chance that falls to you, and it's just then down to you to, to take that chance. Hi, Raheem. How, how do you explain your role at the moment? Because you, you seem to spend a lot of time on the wing, but when you get the ball, you tend to be in the middle or even in the box. So what are your instructions, and how do you explain your position on the pitch these days? Uh, whatever the manager tells me, that's, that's uh, what I try to do. And um, at the end of the day, he then tells you to go out and do... Um, what you do on the pitch so um, he gives you a set plan and um, you try to do that but sometimes things have to come from you off the cuff to try and win games and going back a year when Pep came in and was trying his methods and teaching the, you know, the basics of positional play was that difficult to get to grips with but do you feel more confident with it now? Um, it's been no real difference it's been the same since the start everyone in the team knows their role um, and his most important thing, as I, as I said before, is to try to keep stuff simple. And we've been doing that a lot this year. And it's uh, really beneficial to us. Just the last one. Your goal at Bournemouth, since then, the team's really kicked on and scored a lot of goals, performed very well. Do you think that was a bit of a spark for the team? Um, it was an early start. It was a, I mean, it was a difficult um, game in the end. Bournemouth kept a, a really solid defence. Um, we got the, the win in the end, but um, since then we've really found our feet. We've been um, improving game game after game, and we've been getting better. But um, it's still early days. We just need to continue at this this level. Yeah, Raheem. First chance we've had to ask you si since August. There, were, the, there was interest from Arsenal at a very late stage in the window. We've already asked the manager. He said there was zero chance of you going never contemplated. Can, can you just give us your take of that whole thing and the conversation you might have had with, with Pep, if there was any con conversation? Um, I didn't need to speak with him because I already spoke with him 
in the summer about uh, pre-season and um, I didn't have any negative thoughts or anything bad about it. I just woke up one day with England, seen it and didn't believe a word of it until I heard something from the manager, then I'd believe it, then I would believe it. So um, it was something that um, I was worried about because I think Pep is an honest guy and he would have spoke to me um, before that. So I didn't need to worry about it and I didn't think about it, not one minute. Do you, do you see yourself being here for the long term then, Raheem? Um, yeah, I've signed five years here. I've got, I think, two and a half years left. And um, I see myself here and play my football here on the great manager on a, with a great team, so, of course. And with the World Cup at the end, how, how big a year is, is this for you? Yeah, it's massive. It's a massive year for me, massive year for the team. And um, I just need to keep building and keep working hard and um, then go into the World Cup on a positive. Uh, Raheem, do you feel as though you're a different player or a more mature player than the player that came here two and a half years ago? Um, not really, I just keep growing, I'm just um, learning, loving the game. That's the most important thing, you know, there's ups and downs in, in football. Um, but you just got to pick yourself up each time that things don't go your way. You've got to keep working hard and keep trying to be the player that you know you want to be. And um, that's the thing about me, I know exactly what I want to achieve and I'll keep going for that. And when you played for England the other day, you played as a kind of number 10 initially. Do you think that's something that you may be able to develop or do you think you, you are more suited to being a wider player? Um, I've always been played on the wing. Um, I like to get in the box and um, wherever the manager plays me, I'll be more than happy. But yeah, it's a role that um, I like to play in, um, but it's not something that probably I wouldn't say it's my best position. OK, last couple of questions. Raheem, you've got the best goals to minutes ratio in the Premier League, better than Harry Kane, better than Sergio Aguero. Is that something you needed to, to work on to be more clinical? And how have you worked on it specifically over the summer? As I said, it's um, something I've been trying to improve is getting um, goals and scoring more goals and being more efficient and um, being a bit more clinical. And that's been a, a massive um, question mark over me over the last few years. And I'm just trying to um, build as a player and as a player in my position, I need to be scoring goals uh, more regularly. We haven't mentioned Napoli yet as well. Can I just add uh, the could this be at the back of the room, please? There's some phones and conversations going on. We can hear it down here. Thank you. You've played, of course, in a Champions League semi-final, haven't you, against Real Madrid? But could this be the season that, that Manchester City make a real mark on that competition? Uh, we've got a big game coming up tomorrow. Um, it's still early days. We're confident as a team that we we can um, play some good football. Um, so we just need to keep a level head but uh, at the same time be confident in our ability to, to, to have a great great season in the Champions League. Raheem, it's been quite well documented that you've had a lot of unfair criticism since you joined Man City. How difficult is that to kind of block out as a young player with social media and were you able to just ignore it completely? Um, to be fair, my first year here I used to, um, being really young, I used to always be on Instagram um, you know, you'll see stuff pop up on your explore page, and you'll you'll check it out because you, you didn't um, really know any better. Um, and since I've been getting those negative comments, I've um, realised the best thing to do is not to to look at it. So that's been my my thing so far in the last few years is just don't look at it, and it won't affect you. Okay. Any questions in Italian for Raheem? Any in Italian for Raheem? No. There's one more. That's it. Uh, Raheem, as, a, as viewers watch City play, they really enjoy the way they're playing. As a player, how much are you enjoying being in the City side? Yeah, it's really enjoyable. Um, it's, we're, we're defending with the ball. Um, we're not just defending without it. Um, when we have the ball, we're defending at the same time. So it's a great team to be involved in, especially in the attack and play. Um, as I said before, you know, there's always going to be chances to score and um, to be involved, so yes, yeah, a, a great, great moment for us, and we just need to keep on building and not just make this at the start of the season. We need to continue this throughout the season. Okay, thanks, Raheem. Thank you very much. You